So it's happened. I mean, there there are leaks now from Hamvention regarding um, Kenwood. And I'm on my way to Hamvention, by the way. You can see the supercharger in the back of me. I'm going to spend like 20 minutes here and then be on the way. But Kenwood has apparently or is apparently going to release a new handheld transceiver called the Kenwood D75. As you might have guessed, it seems to be an upgraded D74, but it seems to be not so much a revolutionary upgrade as it seems to be an evolutionary upgrade, meaning that it has a few things tacked on, but not really much more. I'll explain why this is probably good. So you all know the specs. I mean, the biggest thing so far is that it has USB type C charging and USB type C programming and some new D star features. So the D-Star features, I would imagine, are probably mostly software. There's probably some hardware in there too. But the USB Type-C charging, as I mentioned, there's more than meets the eye, by the way. But as I mentioned, I've wanted to see this in amateur radio transceivers for a long time. And the ICOM, the ICOM uh, 705 and others have micro USB. I believe the ICOM 905 has USB Type-C for data. It doesn't have it for charging because obviously I believe that radio uses um, an external power supply or it might use a bigger battery or something. I don't have one, but eventually I, I will. But the bigger deal for Kenwood is remember what caused them to stop manufacturing the D74. And it was this supposed parts shortage that they had caused by, I guess, the AKM factory fire, among other things. And it's nice to see Kenwood back in a game. You know, that's number one. Number one, this radio signifies that Kenwood is back in a game. Because many were worried, are we going to lose Kenwood, JBC Kenwood, as an equipment manufacturer? Because they've been quiet. They missed Hamvention. I believe they missed it last year. Of course, um, during COVID, well, everybody missed Hamvention. But this has been something people are wondering. And I'm really glad to see them back and with a new radio. So that's the first thing. The other thing is type C is more than meets the eye. So this hopefully means that they've sourced a parts supplier that can supply them parts long term. And that they are now able to produce these radios and hopefully have parts for them, meaning parts to produce them for a long time. So hopefully they'll be good. Uh, the only thing that bothers me is the MSRP on this radio. I believe it's like um, pretty, it's about $700, $800. I don't know. Um, I have to double check, but it seems pretty high. But that said, it's not really that out of line because remember, ICOM with his new ID52, uh, well, not really new anymore, but they're, that's priced pretty high. And um, a lot of people buy it because they see the value. Uh, don't let me get into the 705 and the 905 and such like that. And you have to remember with amateur radio, these things are built in small volume. So you're not really going to have a lot of room for profit. And to be honest, I think for these manufacturers, ham radio is equipment is more of a hobby for them as, as much as it is for us. But that is a, a pretty good thing that Kenwood has been, uh, uh, you know, releasing a new radio. Yeah, I'm not gonna go, I'm not, you know, I'm late to the party. I mean, Eric from Ham Radio Concepts has released the leak and you could go to his channel if you're that kind of stuff. You know, I'm not a, a tabloid ham radio channel i'm not going to be you know going on oh leaks 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 no 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 that's that's for those guys that's not for me but um i will be looking for it at hamvention tomorrow morning or depending on when you watch this video and i will definitely be looking for it the the important thing about this radio is that it's pretty much the only radio that does d star on 222 megahertz this is why one of the reasons is such an important radio because 222 is a band that kind of needs some love. It's only in the United States and a few other countries, which is probably why you don't see ICOM having it, probably why you don't see Yesu. And Kenwood is a Japanese company, but Kenwood is still catering for the US market. So it's good to see them have it. And, um, you know, uh, and it's a, a nice little perk, which is why I love my D74. Of course, I love my ICOM radios and other radios too, but the D74 has a special place in my heart. So the D75, the new radio, the successor to the D74, 
hopefully will make a lot of people happy. And I'm looking to a lot more from JVC Kenwood. What do you think? Sound off below. Rhea's Hamshack. Remember, peace and 73s.